This is a quokka. This is a rocket. And this is Project Palermo. Palermo! 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 Welcome to the DP Dome. I am your old mate DP and this is Project Palermo. Welcome back. Things are... I'll say it quietly so the game doesn't hear. Things are going well. It's very odd. We're in fourth place in the league. We're level with Vicenza on points on 52. Only six points now between us and Pisa, which is absolutely mad. But if we have a look at what's been going on, there's just a whole heap of green. You were last here for the Pizza Tootsie Roll Party, uh, which was, you know, half and half. Um, you know, one half toppings on the, the pizza. That's not what happened. We lost a game and then we won a game and that was all great. And then we've just kept on winning. There's a friendly here because there was a bit of a break and I didn't want the players to get unfit purely for fitness, but we didn't need a morale boost or anything else. And we beat Catania again in the derby. We beat Zazena, we beat Reggiana. Uh, we smashed Empoli again, 2-1. Things are going delightfully well. Uh, so the, the test or checking the, Barryometer uh, in one of the two matches today away from home at uh, Barry will be very, very interesting. But we're, we're pushing at the moment. We're pushing in the league and it's quite insane. I don't know what's going on because I don't think we're good enough to do this. But I'm not arguing. It's a pleasant surprise. But we've got a match to play and we've got some other considerations as well. Part of the issue we have moving forward is some of our best players like Fructal, Dahl, uh, Marrera has come good. He's got a nice big match rating. He's scored some goals. He's been fantastic. Brunori has been in really good form now, up to 14 goals. He had two when we got here. Things, again, are going very well. But we've got some players who are running down their contracts and probably won't re-sign. And I'm not inclined to re-sign them. Like uh, Di Francesco, like De Mariano, like Vera, who's still upset. Some of these guys aren't interested in re-signing. If they do, we'd have to pay them too much money and the deals would be far too long for 31-year-old, 29, 32-year-old. So I'm inclined to let some of these clowns go and bring in younger players in the window. Now, if you were here for Wizard of Oz, we attempted this and it failed miserably, but we've got the link to Manchester City in this save, which will help. It certainly helped us with Marrera. And our scouts seem to be doing a, a decent job of finding some potential talents. We've already got three transfers lined up, or three transfers to come in. I can't really see them at the moment. Here we go. So Emil Cide is coming in in July. He's a, a winger who could replace either De Mariano or uh, Federico Di Francisco, whatever his name is. Uh, Chiara's coming in, we already know, and we'll look to flip him straight away. Uh, Walukovic, I like him. I'm happy to keep him. Uh, Renzo Malanka is a defender, a young defender. who can come in and help us out. He's got plenty of room to develop. He's Argentinian, no youth caps, but he's only 22. And he'll be able to do a job. And Alessandro Mercandali, we're getting on a free. And he looks the business as a centre back. Nothing wrong with what we're seeing there. He's 24, so he's probably not going to get too much better. But I think he can help us out whether we're, we're in Serie B still or Serie A. And at the moment, chances are we, we could go up. I've just clicked on the wrong screen. There, that's a playoff spot, which was not on the card when we arrived. Regardless, our first match today is at home and we'll be playing Ascoli, who are 13th in the league. There's a bunch of teams going to release some youth players. So let's just offer all of these guys trials because they're cast-offs from teams in higher divisions, and I'd like to have a look at them. Whether or not they're interested, we'll find out. But let's go into the match and play a Ascoli. Full disclosure, I haven't touched these, this save for a few days. I can't remember what team I've picked or why. I suspect I've rotated a little bit because we're playing a team that's much further down the table than us and just trying to get some fitness into bodies because we have had, forgot to mention this, a little bit of an injury crisis. Rano Kia has been banging in some goals lately, but he's injured. He's going to be out for another six weeks. His season might be done. Uh, Pirozzi, one of our other fullbacks, he's out for a month and a backup goalkeeper that we don't really care about. But Pirozzi and Rano Kia, uh, that's a problem. Luckily, we had Dahl. We've got Carasoni who can play out on that right-hand side, but we're very short of right-backs, and it is a bit of a concern. 
So the sooner Verratti can get himself fit and back in action, the better. I we need to rush him back into the team. But the lineup for today against Ascoli will be Fructo uh, with Dahl, Nicolau, Scarby, and Carasoni in front of him. Scarby's coming in because I'm trying to drum up some interest, to be honest, and see if we can move him on and make some money. Abdulgard and Segre will be in the midfield in our little asymmetric shenanigans that we've got going on. And then Marrera, Vasic, and Valpato. That's right, all the youngsters starting for, I think, possibly the first time or second, maybe but I want to get them involved in using them all because of that contract situation. And then Brunori up front, Chidira is not much fit anymore. I just haven't been using him. I haven't had to because Brunori has been immense for us up front. A few dot balls uh, a couple of times, but other than that, he's been firing in the goals, which has been very fun to watch. Hopefully he'll do it today while you lot are here having a look. So there's our squad. Let's kick it off. We don't need to watch all of this. I know I can turn that off. I'm not going to. Sometimes I like having a look at it. But here we go. Hopefully the boys are going to show you what they've been up to for the last few days or the last few matches because in short, they have been excellent. That is a brilliant shot from one of our defenders, I believe. I'm trying to click on him and I can't. He's a slippery little sucker. I'm wearing a different hat today because why not? I've been wearing this most of the weekend away at a music festival and had a lovely time and I'm finding it comfy on my head. I'm going out again this evening to see Ash Grunwald, amazing Australian blues musician. If you haven't heard his stuff, definitely check it out. He is phenomenal and we had a lovely time with his show. Also a lovely time, Vasic has just scored from outside the area following an error from Ascoli and we're 1-0 up after six min minutes, which is beautiful. And this is what I've been seeing for the last little while. Just dominant, getting teams out of position. I, where is their goalkeeper? I can't even see him. It, there he is. I thought he'd vanish off the face of the earth. He was just so far out, out of position. Couldn't even reconcile it in my brain. But now it's goalie from the kickoff. I've got a highlight, and that's always a little bit of a worry. This Frustic guy, he's shown up in a few of our scout reports. But I don't want him to do well today and, and show us what he's got because that would be bad here's Brunori with a pass out wide to Volpado running into the area shoot tries to curl it in and he was not far away and we're making us the pretty ordinary at the moment I'm just going to fiddle with the match speed because it feels a little slow now when we get the next highlight it'll probably feel too fast and I'll change it back because that's how I roll but this run of form that we've been on has been very very enjoyable and I'm glad I'm getting to, to share it with you again we don't have that many games left in the season so uh, a playoff push or a, a promotion push to not peace are out Cagliari are gone we're not catching them but if pieces start dropping points or have a similar injury situation to us it's game on and I'm excited but again don't let the game hear us say that that would be a disaster because we'll be punished we know this from experience Valpato with a corner and that was a good strong header from Abdul Gard, but it's just over the bar we're getting chances we've had six shots three on target our XG is not great but we're about on a par slightly outscoring it which is fine and now Astley trying to launch an attack and we just clear our lines because that's what we do it's back with them on the halfway line and we've got some Defending things to take care of. That's a good crossing and that's a good goal. And I, I just want to be you. Very disappointing. I'm not going to berate them, but I am going to encourage them. Well, Pato is not showing up today. He's on a 6.6. I'm not sure what to do to get him more involved in the action today. I guess I could swap them over because he can play on either side. So guys letting us down a bit as well. And Karasoni is not great at right back today, but not much we can do about that because, as mentioned, don't have another option to jump on and, and help us out there. But Ascoli now, formulating attacks. I don't care for it. That was a good strong challenge, but it's built back to the Ascoli attacking player. But we get away with it. I think Fructu just about had that covered, but it was a it was a shot that was moving at a rate of knots. Let's say that and not panic. But we've got the football now. We're looking to build from the back. Lots of little tippy tappy passes. Locking it back and forth, trying to drag the defenders out of position. And we've been doing that very, very well. Just taking our time, 
building slowly, finding the right opportunity. Uh, that was the right opportunity. Vasic was fouled in the area, but it doesn't matter because Bernori has scored a goal. I told you he could do it. And you're finally seeing it. It's lovely. You've probably seen it before in a previous episode. I don't remember. These things are happening thick and fast. So Vasic there is fallen over. Bernori just smacks it in with the keeper, deflects, and into the back of the net for 2-1 with 30 minutes to go. We can probably ponder a couple of changes. Let's take Volpato off for now and we'll throw Salcedo on and get some fitness into his bones. And Segre can come off for... Well, let's get uh, Zukon on and rest Blin for today. I probably don't want two ball winning midfielders or bloody well mangle them. As we know, that's what they really are. And again, I don't have a right back available to drop in here for Carasoni. I would love to, but we just don't have that option. So he's going to carry on and we'll leave the defense as is. Two changes. We might make a couple more and get the old boys on. Chidira as well with 20 minutes to go, I think. We'll take off Brunori, rests his weary bones because he's been doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Speaking of heavy lifting, there's Nicolau lifting his heavy frame off the, I was going to say tarmac, but it's grass, to head home for 3-1. Nice, comfortable lead now. And we're doing this pretty easily. Back home. That's goalie question to be asked of their defence. We've asked them, and they've been found wanting. Brunori can come off. Jadira can have a run. Uh, I will rest Marrera uh, and bring on De Mariano for him, who's obviously being downgraded. He was four stars once upon a time. Remember those days? Oh, glorious stuff. Anybody else? Uh, I will, no, I'll leave Scarby. I will take off Nicolau and we'll throw on Cheka, uh We'll throw on Walu, Walakowicz, to have a run because his fitness is dropping a little bit, giving him some time out of the team. Recently, just a just a rest. We're just resting, people. We're rotating. I'm actually rotating. I know it's a bit mad, but now Askley have a chance to pull one back here. Hopefully, they fail miserably, and we're all fine. Try to clear our lines uh, only as far as the edge of the penalty area. That's a good shot. But Fructal gets a hand to it and tips it over. He has made a difference coming in, Fr Fructal, and uh, a better goalkeeper, uh, I think, is a major factor in this little purple patch that we've had rocketing us up the table as things stand we would only be three points behind Pisa and there's Abdelgaard with his second of the match I believe unless I've read something 4-1 now to Palome we just might be a little bit good at football are we Serie A good no not at all no chance but Serie B yeah, I think so, as evidenced by our current league position. Four minutes of time added on, one minute in uh, regulation, as the kids say. And we've won the ball back there after they tried to clear. Big long ball looking for Demariano, but can't find him. And now Ascoli are looking to launch a little bit of a counter-attack. So we need to be alert. We don't want to concede another goal. That would be very disappointing. It's bad enough. We haven't been able to keep a clean sheet in a match to... We really have dominated. We've been pretty clinical in front of goal with these finishes. The set pieces have been working, which is great. They're like free bonus goals. That was a good strike, and Fructal got down low and tipped it around the bar, or around the, the post, post bar, bar post. One of those. He did well, is the point, and saved a goal. That's his job, and I like the things that he did in his job. Great stuff couple of minutes to go clock runs out and we are runaway victors excellent work gentlemen i am a very very happy camper after that one beautiful stuff and next up we will uh, head away from home and go and check out barry good old barry let's just sort out these offers here uh, for trialists for all the players that have been released who might be able to help us out Maybe not. I have no idea. We've turned dominance into victory. We certainly have. We smashed Ascoli. Player of the Week news. Not one of ours. And let's just get these trialists in. I'd say had a few 
reject us and, and not want to come in. So offers accepted. Don't really know what's going on with that. Accepted them all. Yes. Beautiful. So just to refresh the memory, Barry, will you listen to me, Barry? Barry rolled us 1-0 away, uh, away from home, at home, in front of our home crowd. Not that long ago, it was very disappointing, and we were ha having a, a bit of a wobble at the time, so that hurt. So right now, we'll see how far we have come and whether or not we can turn the tables on Barry. That one is coming up in just a few seconds when the screen does something weird and we jump ahead in time. Check it out. Here we go. Well, this is a little bit interesting. Pisa have lost to Spezia. They lost 2-0. So as things stand, we are now only three points behind them. Three points. Just, just thought I'd point that out for no particular reason. Three points off second place. That's all. All right, let's go to the game. Pisa have lost again. They've lost to Brescia, who are in fourth place, but... We now have a game in hand on them. So we can go level on points with Pisa in this match. And if we win, we might even be able to jump up into second because of goal differencing. Cagliari, by the way, smashed Manto over 6-3, which is nuts. But we now have a chance to go second in Serie B, which is mental. That was never on the cards when we got here. Just absolutely crazy. We've also brought in all those trialists from the cast-offs of Syria, and they're all rubbish. So none of those will be joining us, and unless they want them for the youth team or something to, to make up numbers. Uh, our youth team, by the way, qualified for the playoffs, whatever that means, in the youth division. So that was good for them. I, I hope they're happy with themselves. Noah Darvich. I only know of him for reasons outside of this save, but he did come up on scout reports. I didn't go searching for him. We did trawl through and scout a bunch of players from the next gen list, though, and none of them are available. Some of them aren't looking that good, and most of the ones that are any good, we absolutely can't afford, and they're just not options. So that'll happen. Nothing major. So we've dropped down to fifth, but again, we've got this game in hand. Can we capitalize on pieces? repeated slip-ups and go ahead of them. I was toying with the idea of bringing Salcedo in, but he's not fully fit. I'm going to play him off the bench. I'm pretty much done with Di Francesco at this point. He's not cracking it about game time, but Salcedo is for, so for the sake of dynamics and, and the like, I want to get him more involved and I just won't use Federico. So no real changes going on. Well, there are real changes and I'll talk about them now. So free to link goal, Dale Nicolai, uh, Walukowicz, or Walu, as centre-backs with Karasoni on the right. Blin comes into the team to partner Segre because they're just a, a little bit better. And Abdulgad, yeah, scored a couple of goals in that game, but I want to share the load, and Blin's been pretty damn good all season. And then Marrera, Vasic, and Valpado on the right because I've backed out or chickened out of the Salcedo experiment with, of course, Brunuri up front, and we've given some other players a run in the under-18s or under-20s or whatever it was just to try and get some fitness into them. It doesn't appear to work. I only sat them for 20 minutes because I needed them for today and they would have played yesterday and all been exhausted if they played for 90. So, yeah, none of that happened. Oh, I didn't do revenge. I've broken my own rule. Barry beat us last time. The option was there. I saw it just after I clicked on keep doing what you're doing or whatever the option was that I selected. So that's disappointing. But let's see if we can take three points away from Barry and avenge our defeat earlier in the season. Get the, the egg off our face and clear up the blushes and just have rosy red happy cheeks for once. That was a good strike, but it's gone off the crossbar. One of our players went down in the area as well, but no foul was given, which is disappointing. And now Barry are looking to build something, but Dahl just cuts out the pass. Dahl, he's been good since he came in. I like him. He's a good player, and I rate it. That, less good from Herrera, very disappointing. And that's extra disappointing because now we're down by a goal. I'm going to berate them for that. That's not okay after 11 minutes, gentlemen. It's not what we do around these parts. Dahl did nothing wrong, but Herrera just totally oblivious to the defender bearing down on him and taking the ball off his toe. One pass and we're a goal down. Not cool, football manager. Come on, lads, you're better than this. 
let's not have the run in here. I've been talking you up. You've got a chance to, to go into an automatic promotion place. Don't bottle it. They're going to bottle it, aren't they? This guy's a problem. This guy's a real problem. Brickton's gone down too early. That's an important tackle there from Nicolau to see the ball out. But we're under pressure. Not used, it's been a while since we've seen this kind of play from another team, and I don't like it. I don't like what I'm seeing at all. We'll wait till we can drop a shout. We'll encourage them. But we're on the back foot here. Hmm. Very strange. What's the problem? Well, Pato, I had a chat to him about his last game where he had a 6.5 or 6.6 .6 match rating, and he cracked it with me when I said, hey, our strikers were feeding off scraps. Probably a dumb move, given that we won the game comfortably. But he wasn't up to par, and I was trying to bring that to his att attention that I'd like him to do better than he did. That was better from him. A pass, but Fern the right player, and that's a goal for him, which is it's better again. Well done, Marrera. Lovely bit of play, and that is more like it. That is Palermo football. That's what this project is all about, to turn this team into a bunch of winners and that's the way to go about it. Well, not really, because we'd be a bunch of drawers right now. Which isn't quite there. But it's a step in the right direction, regardless. And now we've got to throw in. Can we just go and pinch a lead after going down early? Carasoni, looking for an option. Can't find one. So he just runs himself. Wants to cross it into the area for Benori. But the pass is pretty ordinary, let's be honest. Dahl now, looking for Blin. Can't find him. And Barry... I've got the ball back, and they're looking to rush forward early. But Carasoni's cut that out. He's done really well. Vapato now collects. Through ball for Segre. Over to Brunori, to Vasic, and that's a lovely pass. And we, we do take the lead. 2-1 in the 35th minute, or 1-2, because it's backwards. We're the away team. It's 2-1 to Palermo. Nobody's going to say, oh, it's 1-2. Never happens. But... Lovely bit of play, unselfish from Benori. Probably could have gone himself there and scored it. But he set up the youngster instead. Bit of mentoring, bit of, bit of leadership. Leading by example from Benori. And I like it. I rate that quite highly. Now, it's all about goal difference at this point. We need to hang on to the lead, maybe score another goal. And that's our opportunity to jump over Pisa and really insert ourselves into the mix of this uh, promotion rush. And, oh, that's a really important save from Fructal. Diving across, off his line, and directs it out for a throw-in, not a corner. Excellent piece of work. Dale now, over to Marrero. We've got a highlight. It's happening on the screen. You can see it right there. Blin has lost out, but Marrero plays it through. For Brunori, who shoots and scores. Matteo Brunori with his 16th goal of the season now. 14 of those since we arrived. He got off to a slow start. was really struggling, but I think this change in shape not having all the plays back in our own six-yard box for 90 minutes has really helped this team. And Brunori's found his feet. He's found form. He's finding goals and living his best life. And look how happy he is. Swinging his arms. You swing your arms, Mateo, because you're an absolute hero. Let's not concede right before halftime. What did I just say? This guy's put in a, a header. And you can't really say Barry don't deserve it. They have really put the pressure on us in this match. They've been quite good. I hated doing that. It makes me feel dirty. But they have. They've played us off the park, really. I didn't even notice that. 11 shots, 6 on target. We really don't deserve to be on front. On front? In front. I'm losing my voice. I may have screamed and sang and gone a little bit ape last night uh, seeing Ash Cornwall. So apologies for the voice. It may just give up on me entirely. Who knows? But we will proceed until I can no longer. I may record a couple of episodes before I head out to see Ash Grimwald again tonight. Again, jump on Spotify, listen to his stuff. He is fantastic. We're going to look to make a couple of changes. Brunori there crosses in to their goalkeeper. I'm not sure what he was trying to accomplish because we had no other players rushing into the area to help him out which is a whole other issue that we'll deal with at some point. But oh, it's a great ball through. Just no. Just no. Still don't have a right back. Can Cecharoni do it? Not really. Can Dahl? 
Not really. Can Nickel out? No. Nobody can play out there. What is the point? What is the point of making a change? There isn't one. It's pointless. So we won't. I am going to take off Alparto though because he just has not shown up today. Abdulgar can come on for Blin and we might swap them over. No, we'll leave them as they are. But Abdulgar would prefer. And he wants to be a ball in midfielder. Okay, fair enough. Anything else we need to change? Can throw in Dikiara and we'll rest. Uh, rest what's his face. What are you doing? Let's undo that change. There we go. Three changes. I'm happy with that. Let's get back into it. Just trying to shore up the defense a little bit, but again, there's really not a lot I can do with unfit players because they can't play. Right. The Chiara with a short ball over to Moreira to Salcedo. Back to Moreira. Edge of the area. Vesic picks it up. Going back out to Nicolau and then to Chiara. Cutting inside. Looking for a pass. Finds Segre. Plays it through for Benori. The flag is down. And that is a goal. That is 4-3. And that was a lovely bit of interplay. Just pass after pass. Look at this again. Nicolau over to the Chiara. Spots an option. Just plays a cheeky one in. And through to Segre. It just taps it on for Benori. Beautiful stuff. Our dynamics are looking really good. At the moment, much more positive. There's no red in them. And when that's the case, you see your team playing like that. They just play better, better communication, better understanding, better anticipation. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And we're reaping the rewards right now. Carasone is now on a 6.4. I'm going to demand more from him because what the higgities. And 10 minutes to go. We're just going to make a couple of changes for fitness. Uh, Barry can come on there. And Segre can come off for, uh, sorry, Zukon on. And I don't really know what else to do from here. Maybe a defender. Can Tichiara play on the other side? Not really. And I don't want to chance it. Does Garvey play there? No. All right, fair enough. We can't make any more changes. So we'll just hit continue and... Rock on and hope the defense can keep him out. There's nothing else I can do. Ah, Marrera's picked up a knock now. He's got a red heart. You just, you just need to get through to the end of the match. I can't let us go down to 10 men. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Marrera. Oh, the city manager's going to be mad with me for breaking his blow. Oh, good shot from Tishiara, the left back. No joy. I'd love to extend the lead. We've got five minutes of time added on here, which is not great because we've been a little bit iffy today in defense. Not super iffy, but that's a problem. No one was putting pressure on that ball. And now they've just got numbers forward everywhere. That guy was miles offside though, so I'm not too stressed. And now we've got another problem. Get the ball out of there. Nicolau just leathers it. Great stuff. Here's Marrera who's injured. Playing it through, looking for Salcedo. No joy, but nearly wins it back. He's there. He's beating the keeper. Oh, Eddie Salcedo. Lovely stuff. What a goal. Just pressure, pressure, pressure. And he's only spot. We'll drop Valpardo for the next game for sure. And Salcedo is going to have a run. That guy's got an unfortunate name. And if you were paying attention, you know who I'm talking about. But that's what we want to see. A bit of drive and aggro from our players, just never giving up, never say die. And that still leaves us behind Pisa because uh, we've lost to them. Goes on head to head. And before it goes to goal difference, I forgot. So we're still in third, but effectively equal second place, really. We've got a better goal difference. We're level on points. We're a point ahead of Empoli. We're certainly not getting relegated this season. And that is a delightful state of affairs. We've lost Moreira for eight days, which is really disappointing because he's been great in recent times. So I feel that pain. But if you have a look now, why has this reset itself? I do not approve. Team competitions, lowest we can finish is 14th, which is not in the relegation zone, but we want to do better than that. We now are going to go right through to the last two games of the regular season against Frosinone 
and Spezia, our last home game of the season, and we'll play at Benito Sturpe in Frosinone. Again, our last two games of the season, we'll see where we wind up. It'll be as, as much of a surprise for me as it is for you. But until then, if you enjoyed that, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that next ep this episode where we wrap up season one. Again, I'm so excited. I'm tripping over my tongue. And between now and then, say hi to your mum for me and be good. If you can't be good, don't get caught. Bye. Oh,